So August was an innovative month. We saw Samsung foldables, Samsung Z Fold 4, Samsung Z Flip 4, and even foldables from Huawei, Xiaomi. And some other phones that were not supposed to fold. Beep, beep it out. <laughs> Guess it in the comments. And most of other smartphone launches which we covered in our previous month upcoming video. And September is going to be a very interesting month because we'll have iPhones. It's kind of the iPhone month, Apple timber, maybe, maybe if that makes sense. No. That's very confident, no? Straight up, we'll have a phone from Motorola, Moto S30 Ultra. Now, interesting thing, Xiaomi and Realme haven't launched phones in like two months and Moto is bringing one or two phones every month to the market, like tables have turned. Now, the rumored launch date is around 12 September, but this is going to be an all spec heavy phone. You will see flagship Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, Maybe a 200 megapixel camera sensor for the first time in any smartphone. 144 Hz OLED display. And the price is still going to be around 50,000. For that price, the specs seem good. I'm mostly interested to see the camera improvement. And that's not it. We have Moto Edge 30 Fusion. It will launch in the same event around September 12th. Now this will be kind of a premium mid-range phone. You will see Snapdragon 888 Plus, 144Hz P OLED display, 4400mAh battery. The price would still be under 30,000 or somewhere around it. But more important than phone launching is updates. Motorola is doing a good job in most of the phones for updates, but S20 Fusion and G71 hasn't received Android 12 update, so that part can be a bit better. Now finally, the iPhone 14 series, the most awaited launch of 2022, and we'll cover the iPhone 14 series first on TechWiser, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. The launch event is on September 7, 2022, and say what you will, iPhones have the best launch events, like visually. Now iPhone will have four different models and names are changing this year. And mostly as per rumors, iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Max will have the same specs and notch as iPhone 13. Same A15 Bionic chip, same 12 megapixel camera. There will be no iPhone 14 mini this year. Apple is discontinuing it due to low sales, but these are just rumors. However, the biggest upgrades will be iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. I mean, the best iPhone ever, as they say. You'll have a pill-shaped punch hole now, new A16 Bionic chip, 50 megapixel main camera, and maybe, maybe a periscope camera as well. I, as in tech enthusiast, am excited about it because who doesn't love tech? Now, the Apple event, there can also be new Apple Watch 7 Pro with better battery, titanium shell, whatnot, and maybe, just maybe, Apple AirPods 2 Pro or Apple AirPods Pro 2 names these days. However, the price of iPhone 14 will be a bit lower this time. The rumored price of iPhone 14 series starts at $799. In India, after customs and taxes, it should start at 70,000 rupees. However, the Pro variant will still start at 1 lakh, 1.1 lakh. Be prepared with your kidneys. Maybe. Now, there are rumors that IQ might launch two to three phones next month, IQ Neo 7 or IQ 8. Most of the sources are talking about it, but as far our information, it's not coming at least not next month. The only iQ phone that will launch next month is iQ Z6 Lite. The launch date is rumored to be around second week of September. iQ Z6 Lite will be a budget phone. So as per rumors, it could be a 5G phone with Snapdragon 695 or a better 5G chip. 5000mAh battery and nothing much is known about the specs. The price will be around 13,000. It could be the cheapest 5G phone in India. Realme this month in September will launch only one phone, quite new, Realme C33. There are also rumors about Realme GT Neo 3T, but that's 50-50. The launch event will take place in second half of September. Realme C33 is a budget phone with Unisoc T612 processor, 4GB RAM, 5000mAh battery. The pricing will be lower than 10,000. But the exciting part about that event is Realme Watch 3 Pro and Realme Buds Air 3S. Now, as you would know, smartwatches sell really well in India and especially Bluetooth calling watches under budget. And as per the Realme website listing, Realme Watch 3 Pro will be a Bluetooth calling smartwatch. Now, Vivo launched the Vivo V25 Pro last month. Here's the, here's the video. But at the same event, there was no Vivo V25. So Vivo V25 will launch in second half or second week of September. The rumored specs are Dimensity 900, 64 megapixel OIS camera. Now the smaller Vivo V series never had OIS. It's good they are improving the main camera, same color changing back, 
4500 milliamp hour battery and 50 megapixel selfie camera. The price is rumored to be under 30,000 or around it. Let's see when it comes to India. There are also rumors about another Vivo phone, Vivo X80 Lite. It will feature Dimensity 8100 and a 50 megapixel main camera, but the launch date is still not confirmed. And after a long time, Poco will be launching its budget phone, Poco M5. The launch date is confirmed on 5th September, 5.30 PM. The specs are also confirmed. It will be a 4G phone with MediaTek Helio G99. The back of the phone will have that leather feel like in pictures, it looks really dope in my opinion. The price has to be under 15,000. So that was the list. If you love these series, subscribe to TechWiser. We bring a lot of good tech content and this is Vidik signing off. See you in the next video.